Good morning, modern steaders. I hear hope and blossom already this morning. And the two pigs are sleeping. Oh, good morning. You coming out, pork? You didn't eat all your grain from last night. Give you some more. Did you sleep good? Good morning, Figaro. We hear you, Hope. We hear you. There you the goats are. Come for Willow. Get them some hay. Don't worry, Willow. You're gonna get your own grain. One second. There you girls go. Come on, baby goats. How you doing? I got your own grain right here, Willow. There you go. Your babies seem to be doing so good, Willow. They're up and around. Want some grain? Good morning, mister. Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you, too. You looking for Gina? Yeah, you're Gina's buddy, huh? How did you get in there? Huh? How did you do that? Hope you'll be able to get out. I haven't seen you been able to get in there in a while there, Hope. Come on in, Figaro. Come on in. We noticed the other day when we were out driving around, the signs for the road bands were taken down. So we're hoping soon to be bringing in some gravel and starting with the site work, guys. And then we can start on building the barn. Oh, before all the chickens get out, let's clean out the water. The water's got an automatic float, so it fills and stops on its own. Uh-oh, is on the chase. Coming back in. The automatic chicken water is from coopsandmore.com. If you make a purchase on their website, if you use promo code LUMNA, you'll get 10% off your order. Having the automatic chicken water hooked up to our rainwater collection system in New York City. Makes watering the chickens so easy when the temperature's not freezing. <laughs> Come on, Pluto. We still got a lot of standing water over here in the pasture still.
the black copper marrons and the olive egg layer are doing really well. Once the temperatures warm up a little bit more, we're not getting so much rain, we'll be able to put the black copper marrons outside in a chicken tractor. Morning, meat birds. You knocked over your feeder again. Get you some feed. It's always a feeding frenzy. Those birds can never eat enough. No wonder why they grow so fast. Do you want that kitty over there? Oh, can't get him. Oh, he's taking off on you. He says, no sir. You gonna say bye to Livy's? You gonna cuddle some goats when you get home from school? Yes. Okay, they'll be waiting for you. Yep. Have a good day at school. Okay. I'll cuddle the goats while you're gone. Love you. Love you. We need to check on the tomato and pepper plants and see if any of our seeds have started yet that we planted last week. <gasps> Can you guys see that from here? You see any of that green? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Got quite a few over here that are starting. I'm not seeing any in this tray. A few here, here, and ah! Oh, even the cauliflower guys. Ha ha, awesome, look at that. That is so exciting. We picked up some more seeds the other day, some broccoli, so I need to get those planted. I don't know if I'll have time today, but that's on the agenda. When it comes to watering our soil blocks, I like to flood irrigate, as I call it, our trays. And this gets the bottom of the soil blocks wet and it helps wick up the moisture. A little trick that I learned a few years ago, which I was kind of surprised it worked. On a lot of the seeds, you don't need to cover them with soil. See that little one, right? Let's see if we can get it to focus, right there. And then there, all the cauliflower, they're such tiny seeds, I didn't cover them with soil, but they'll still sprout and take off. I do it that way with a small seed, so that way I don't have to worry about covering them with too much soil, because if you cover them with too much soil, they're gonna rot and they won't break through the soil. Peppers are looking really good. A nice dark and green. The tomatoes are doing good. I just saw a nice flower. Actually, this one's got a couple of flowers right here. Awesome. I think we got some more flowers right there going. And now we need some nicer weather so we can plant our plants outside in the garden. The other day when Willow had her baby goats, it was raining cats and dogs. And our weather station up there only registered like 0.2 tenths of an inch of rain. We got over two inches of, a, of rain that day. We got a lot more coming. I want to take down the weather station and see what is wrong with the rain gauge. Somebody said there could be a cobweb stuck in it. So we need to do that because we have a lot more rain coming in the rest of this week. And I'd love to know how much we get. This is not my favorite job, but... We can take down... Oh. We have it down. We can change the batteries out.
Sick. All right, let's see what's up with this thing. I'm not seeing. Oh, there's something right there. I don't know what that is, I guess. Dump some water in it, see if we can flush anything out. And we'll replace the batteries while we have it down. So it comes right out the bottom here. That pot's good. We're flooding out. So right down here is where it comes out. I wonder if we can... I can hear everything working. Must be a check valve in there. I can hear that. Hear it? I think that's the best we can do on that. We haven't changed the battery since last winter. Or not this winter, we just had the winter before it. So. Now we've had these Sony batteries in there for a while. They've lasted really well. They are dry battery AAR6. And I'm gonna replace them with Amazon Basics that we have. I don't know if I'll regret it. These are an AALR6. If you know what the difference is, leave it in the comments down below. But this is what we have at the house, so we're gonna try these ones. Don't fall. <laughs> oh, there, I'm glad that's done. Not my favorite job to do, but we got it done. I need a new extension ladder. That one needs to be replaced. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Look at where Tana loves to nap. You comfortable over there, buddy? Oh, you're getting a little big for that doll bed, aren't you?
I did 13 inch space in between the slats. This way my boot can fit in. And I used some deck spindles that we had sitting around the house for slats. We'll see how that works out and if the pigs like the thickness of them and the spacing of it. We're storing the goat hay in the pasture pig mobile for now. The fencing for the pigs should actually be coming in today. Yes! Oh, ho for dope. You want some more hay? Huh, you want more hay? Brought out a flake for you and a flake for Willow. Hey, Miss Willow. Don't worry, you get your own hay. Look at you and your babies, so cute. Oh, you get a little spunky spunk. That's Mama's hay. Don't jump on it. There you go, Willow. There you go. I bet Olivia can't wait to get home from school to see the baby goats, and I bet you Gina can't wait to get home either. Oh, it's probably making for a one long day for them. I just had a winter weather advisory come across my phone saying it's gonna get cold and chance of snow tonight, guys. You want snow? No. You wanna go see baby goats? Yes. Yes. Are you jumpy, little boy? I must like that stuff that's in there. What's that? This one likes the stuff that's in this bucket. Hope, stay down. She's trying to get you water. She don't need you jumping on her, Hope. I know, you want to say hello, but jumping up is not the way you say hello to people. That might be goat language, Hope, but that's not people language. Is that good, girl? Huh? Huh, is that good? You piggies are going to town digging that up. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Nope, I just saw her fly out too. I think the dog scared her. What are you doing out, huh? Tanner's gonna get you. Tanner! Tanner, we got a chicken. Get the chicken. Get her. You got the crazy white one the other day. Chased her right back in. She flew up and over. Oh, dirty eggs. These ones are nice and clean. Tanner, you gonna chase the chicken in? There you go. House. Go to the house. Let's go.
Why, hello there, white chicken. Someone's following you. It sure is. You want some seaweed? She's not shy to come see you, is she? Mm -hmm. She's so she says I want some cuddles. I do I too. Want I want cuddles. cuddles too. Are you gonna jump around for me so I can see what you do? They all look nice and comfy. Oh goodness, how am I gonna go inside and go? You have to sleep out here tonight. Oh no, I don't think I can. Even Mr. Little Boy here doesn't like the cuddle. Pigmobile is all set and ready to go now. The slats on that ramp door was the last thing I had to do. Just waiting for the new electric fence wire to show up. That should be in the mail either late today or tomorrow. And then once that comes in, we'll put that out. We'll have to train the pigs to that, and then we'll be able to get the pigs out on pasture. And we have some really fun, exciting jobs for them to do this year. Oh, all these baby goats on the homestead just keep everything so interesting. They're always a blast to watch. What is your favorite thing about baby goats? I could tell you ours, but we might be here for a little while. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.